28 years strong, we've been doing this turf bowl. And when we started, we had 17 students. And today, even in a, in a year where we're fighting Omicron and, and different challenges, 44 teams, 151 students, 21 different schools. Proud to announce the fact that we've got three new schools. It's evolved over the years. Initially, it was a single person taking it, and then we evolved it to the team status, which has made it really good for the university's camaraderie, um, working together to um, come up with solutions. So on the tables, and that's probably easiest to see when you walk into the exam room, they have to do seed ID, turf grass disease ID, turf grass weed ID, and then turf grass species ID. And then within the packets, they have uh, turf grass business questions, uh, turf grass soils questions, turf grass math questions, turf grass physiology questions, um, and general turf grass management questions. So we're looking at you know fertilizers, cultural practices, um, irrigation questions, um, airification, uh, cultivation questions, anything about general turf grass management. I think they have a little bit about uh, turf grass human resource management as well. So it's a really varied exam. It takes a lot of preparation. The teams that do well spend a class or spend months studying and preparing for the exam. And we hope it makes them become better superintendents later on. It's so competitive, often just a few points will separate several placings uh, as you get towards the top, you know, top 20 or so. These students are our future. We all know that there's labor issues within the industry that you know, we haven't seen for some time and, and we're all struggling with that. I can tell you there will be opportunity because as we age out and we're looking at those that are coming in, it's not as widespread as those going out. So what is that equal opportunity? So now for your overall winner, collecting $4,000 in prize money and taking possession of the Traveling Turf Bowl trophy, all the bragging rights that come with it for the upcoming year and the opportunity to work at Desert Mountain Golf Club. The winner of the 2022 GCS Collegiate Turf Bowl is Purdue University Team Um, They worked really, really hard, so it is what it is, and you know, everybody plays the same pins in the game of golf, and they put the work in, so it's awesome.